girls and guys, it's Presley, and today I thought I'd be making a new top five list. Because the last top five list I made was, it's actually been a while since I made an, uh, another one, so I thought I'd make a new one. The last one was pretty negative, so I thought I'd make a new positive top five list. And it's going to be about my top five favorite Christmas movies. And since it's almost, it's getting there close to Christmas, I thought I'd share you guys my favorite, my top five favorite Christmas movies, like of all time, you know. So without further delay, let's get this list rolling, shall we? Here we go. Number five, A Christmas Story. So if you haven't seen it, well, it's a pretty good movie. It's obviously about a little boy who really wants a little BB gun or something, like a BB shotgun for Christmas. And all of the kids in his class, especially the teachers and other adults he meets, especially when he meets Santa Claus, he really wants that BB gun. And everybody just keeps on saying to him, you'll shoot your eye out, of course. And if you haven't seen it, well, here's your chance to actually see it because every... Every Christmas Day, this is the only, this is why it's, um, this movie is so low on the list because this is the only problem I have with the um, with a Christmas story. So every Christmas morning and every like Christmas Eve too. So it it broadcasts on different uh, channels twenty four hours a day, and it just keeps repeating on loop all day all day long and it's pretty it's a pretty it's a hard to miss movie if you have really haven't seen it well i mean go see it if you want to watch it on loop for 24 hours on christmas morning go ahead i mean go ahead that's the only issue i have with the with the movie but it is a pretty good movie that's just the only problem i have with it anyway let's get on to the next one number four how the Grinch Stole Christmas. And I'm not talking about the cartoon one, like the classic cartoon. And I'm also not talking about the one that came out a couple years ago. I'm talking about the one with Jim Carrey, the live action one. And I thought it was the most fantastic Grinch movie I've ever seen. I know you can never go wrong with classics and they somehow had to make another Grinch movie a couple years ago and I never seen it so I always I'll always prefer the live action version because you know it's pretty funny I mean Jim Carrey is a really good actor and he's hilarious and obviously it's live action you can never go wrong with it I mean there are times when live action movies based on cartoons and comics and stuff can go wrong or horrible but in this case, this movie, I'll make an exception. It's pretty good. I really like it. Anyway, let's go on to the next one. Number three, Home Alone. Now this one, you can never go wrong with Home Alone. Of course, you have just a little boy who oversleeps and he misses his vacation with his family because his family mistreats him. And obviously, they're the one who mistreated him and threw his plane tickets away and one of them one of the one of the family members threw his plane tickets away i don't know if it was on purpose or an accident so they just left him by himself and and then the two two burglars come in and of course just wanted to rob his house but kevin who he's one badass kid he won't let anyone rob his house so he sets up all these jigsaw traps and it's pretty cool it's freaking hilarious i mean if you haven't seen it well i just spoiled it for you i'm so sorry but if you have seen it well good for you i mean you already know how what the movie's all about and of course it's pretty good really funny anyway let's go on to my next one number two polar express now this one is a real good classic of mine i really love this movie I always remember back in kindergarten, I had a pajama party and the first movie we ever watched was Polar Express and it was fantastic. 
and after after we watched that movie we we tried actually having hot chocolate for the first time and i never tried it because i didn't want to i mean the hot chocolate and the, the hot chocolate in the movie really it looked real good so i thought i wanted to try it so i mean like hot chocolate to me in real life doesn't look that good i know i have a weird mindset don't judge me and we also watched the movie back in first grade when we had another pajama party and again that movie real good classic the animation is fantastic even back in the early 2000s Whew. good christmas movie and if you haven't watched it if you haven't watched it at all go ahead watch it you won't regret it it's really really good my favorite character in the movie has to be like the nerdy kid with the yellow pajamas <laughs> He's freaking hilarious, man. He reminds me of someone in school, even though I'm in high school right now. And of course, I know I know a guy who looks almost to me who looks just like him somewhat. It's it's freaking hilarious. Anyway, now on to my final one. And finally, number one, a Charlie Brown Christmas. I'll always love this movie. And it'll always be my number one favorite because Charlie Brown and the Peanuts were my childhood and there will always be my childhood. And when this movie, when I was watching that movie, I thought it was brilliant, fantastic. The acting was great. My favorite character in the movie had to be Linus. Of course, all he does is suck, suck his thumb and carry a blanket around, but he makes a really good point about what Christmas is really about. And when Linus talks about the true meaning of Christmas, it brings up a whole new side of character development to this character, you know? He may be just a little kid holding a blanket and sucking his thumb, but on the bright side, He's a pretty smart kid. And that movie will always touch my heart and good memories. Also, one more thing I got to show you. I love this movie so much. I actually have something from the movie that I that I that I've had for It's actually a Christmas prop, but hang on. I'll show you guys this. Give me one second. This is the Christmas prop I have from the Charlie Brown Christmas movie. The poor little tree who just needed a little love. And it, and it had a lot of love in the movie. It was just a poor little tree that Charlie Brown really wanted to pick out and everybody made fun of him for it. But in the end, this poor little tree had its love after all. And it's a really good tree. It's, a, it's just a prop that we that we use for decoration um, at our house. So it's a really good prop. It'll always remind me of the of my favorite movies, Charlie Brown Christmas movie, and it's really good. If you haven't watched that movie, I suggest you go watch it. It'll change your life forever. And if it doesn't, well, you got other Christmas movie tastes than, than me, so. Anyway, before I go, I want to let you guys know that next Saturday I won't, I might not be uploading a new video next Saturday because I am going to a hotel to spend some time with my mom, my aunt, my grandma, and my two cousins. So I'm just going to chill and have a little mini vacation with them next next weekend so but plans do cancel so if it cancels I might upload Saturday but if it doesn't cancel then you won't you're probably not going to expect a new video next week so but I'll upload the week after if anything happens and I'll let you guys know and whatnot. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video.
Peace.